trying to go uh, all the way against the Cameroon tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's a very big motivation. Uh, at least um, I've been because um, when we asked the um, senior, um, the only player was going to the Olympics. That's uh, the person of um, uh, our goalkeeper Tochi. Yeah, uh, she really gave us a lot of um, uh, how the Olympics looks like, and I feel like it's something that. In as much as I've been to the 17th, 20s and the World Cup, I've got, I would also have that experience. And it's just not just have that experience, you know. You want to go play, you want to go make your country proud, and uh, yeah. And I think most of us on the team also have not been there, so we want to go there, we want to go play, we want to go, you know, also replicate what we did in the World Cup there even much better. So, and I hope uh, it's going to work this time. By the grace of God, but the most important thing is uh, the team must win. So it's not about who scored the goal. It's just going to be, we have to win. You know, you, you want to go uh, pressure and, you know, you have to be, you have to be smart and intelligent when you're on the road at, at, at an away ground. And, uh, and then also, in fairness, part of the sitting back um, wasn't only tactical, um, but I think a lot of our players, I mentioned this in, in uh, Cameroon, a lot of our players have traveled from really far and we came here and then turned around and traveled through the night to get there. So, you know, you had to be careful with the, uh, their, their legs, you know, the, very, the, the fatigue. So uh, there were a lot of things to consider going into that match, um, you know, not only tactically to make sure we, we kept a clean sheet, uh, but part of it was just physically. And again, right now too, it's, it's very, very hot. So. Um, we'll, we'll have a, a much more aggressive mentality, uh, so that's, that will be the plan. Well, I, I think, as you said, we, we got a, uh, a positive result um, in Douala. Everything to play for. It's, uh, we'll go for it tomorrow and, and, and go for the win. Um, you know, it's now our home pitch and our home fans and, and um, you know, playing back in Nigeria. So I think the approach will be a very uh, aggressive approach to uh, to go out and secure the victory. Coming off of the, the World Cup and the way the players came together and performed at the World Cup, um, you know, I think we want to build on that. We don't want to take steps backwards, if at all possible. So, um, you know, we, we want to come in and, and replicate uh, the victory and qualify for an Olympics, which we haven't done for many years. Uh, uh, so th that's really important. And I think the players are very much understand what's at stake. And um, I think they're ready, ready for the challenge. Very normal because she's uh, one of the biggest uh, player ever in the African uh, in the Cameroon uh, female national team. Um, it has been a very big uh, dis disadvantage to us, but um, we are going to do our best. Even if uh, she's not here, but we are going to play as if she's still with us.
guys talk to me. Okay. Snakes? Yes, yes, yes. What is it? No. Uh, it's not snakes. Snakes? Not one, not two. Yes, yeah, more ones. They come for the they come because of the water. Let me see how we say snake. Yeah, they come. In sports, generally, like in football, there never seems to be an end, you know, because competitions keep coming every moment. So the more you win, the more you you know go beyond a particular one, the next one just waits for you. They are rated the best in Africa. In the world, they're about the world's best ten. You know, so nobody expects anything different from victory tomorrow. You know, so for me, as sports development minister, it was important to come, watch them train, and have one one or two things to say to them to encourage them. You know, I mean that's why I'm here, encourage and motivate them and let them understand that you know, the whole country is full of expectation, the whole country is, is happy and is very proud of their achievements and their various attainments. You know, all of them know the importance of appearing at the Olympics. I mean, it's um, quite some number of them uh, you know, that came before now were not able to go to the Olympics. So this is one tremendous opportunity that offers itself and I think that the whole team is very mobilized for that purpose.